on guys, JT here. Um, just in my property here in the Entros area. So, um, you know, a big thing I'm gonna do today is, uh, you know, put a food plot in. Uh, it's got some throw and grow, so it's kind of like um, alfalfa and clover kind of mix. Um, you know, I'm just gonna do it all by hand today. You know, rake it up and uh, fertilize it. So, just doing some work here. Um, found really where I wanted to put the, um, the food plot in. So uh, as you can kind of see here, it's pines like that. And then what, what this does is this kind of runs directly through our property. It's about, I don't know, 15 yards wide. And it kind of runs all the way through down towards uh, you know the end of our property there. So we got a huge uh, bean field just through there. So I'm thinking about doing is uh, kind of where that sun is down there, planting. Um, through there, kind of to down towards here, and then out that way. So I'm kind of like on a little peninsula, oh, peninsula, little corner here. They're bedding out in these pines over in here, um, kind of way down there. So I really feel like if I can, uh, you know, get here, predominantly the wind is this way, kind of going, my stand's going to be back in there. So the wind's predominantly going back that way. So I really think um, I can get them kind of cutting through here. Um, you know, if we walk up in here, there's a, there's a trail that runs through here. So this is kind of what it's going to be like. Just kind of working on getting everything scraped out. I just started about 10 minutes ago. So this is a good trail that kind of runs through here. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it. But it goes through there. Kind of comes across and goes out that way but um another good spot would be you know for gun season just sitting on either one you know see either on that side or down there on that side just kind of get them when they're crossing but for bow um i think this will be money kind of find a tree back up in there somewhere Kind of see how wide it's going to be just like that to there kind of there i'm going to try to get it out there maybe through that bend there kind of have a nice little corner uh so we'll see stay tuned it's hot guys i'm not gonna lie i had uh go back to the car for a little bit and uh take a little break there because we see on it's 90 degrees plus out but gotta get it done and um now i'm going back out got everything pretty much tilled up the rake um yeah so we're gonna go plant the throw and grow again. food plot's done kind of goes out to here and i made it <clears throat> kind of fast this part because I was out in the heat all day but kind of wraps around and goes down this way a little bit so my stand's going to be kind of back in there it's just natural funnel through here should be good Just got home, just finished up the trip, hour and a half, and uh, you know, it was a success. Um, got the food plots in, uh, it took all day, but uh, just with myself, but I got it in. Also, did some scouting on some uh, some new property kind of right across the street from where I'm at, and you know, everything was good. Um, you know, promising sign over there. You know, it's always good to roll up to a new piece of property and see, you know, eight to ten deer in the field. Um, my buddy TJ Rodosa joined me from uh, Rough Life Outdoors, with his hat pretty dope um, you know I'll give a link to his Instagram uh, you know down below but um, you know all in all good day um, feels good to be home get some rest uh, you know me and PD have um, some big news coming up uh, you know in regards to, uh, to partnerships and sponsors and that so um, stay tuned and hope you guys enjoy oh.